In our fall garden this year, we had hoped to show you a nice, lush green plant, a new variety of squash called Eat It All that was just released from Burpee Seed Company this year. But as you can see, we've kind of had a streak of bad luck and there's not much left in this particular plant. And normally over the past few years, our problem has been cucumber beetles, but this one kind of got a double whammy. And the nice thing is we've been able to get the cucumber beetles under control with a new product also out on the market this year called Adios. And Adios is a, really a bait that contains a chemical pheromone that attracts a cucumber beetle. And then once they feed on the bait, which you can apply as a granular or as a wettable powder, it actually kills them because it has a little bit of carbaryl or seven in it. So that's kept the cucumber beetles in control. Now if we could just control the squash vine borers. And I don't know if you've ever noticed, a lot of times it's at the center crown, but you'll be able to see holes with a little bit of uh, flaking or exudate from the larva. We've got one over here too. And the squash vine borer actually lays eggs here, hatches into a larva, and they bore into the plant, and it's caused the plant to wilt. We have replanted some of our cucumber crops as many as three times this year just because of the squash vine, vine borer. And really, we almost would have needed to spray more with like malathion, thiodin, or seven, or sabadea at the ground level or on the vine right when we start seeing it can have as many as two generations. The other thing is now we need to make sure we till up the ground because the larva also overwinter in the soil and so we don't want to plant vine crops back in the same spot next year and we want to overwinter them by killing them uh, by, by tilling them out of the ground. The other thing you can see is uh, squash bugs, we've got various sizes of the nymph stages, we have eggs on the foliage, the adults and they have just taken over and killed this plant. But the neat thing about the plant, if we could have shown you, we didn't get much production on it, it's really a winter squash and you can harvest it smaller and when you cut into them it has kind of a yellowish orangish skin uh, cast that gets even darker yellow as it gets mature. And then it turns into one like this, it looks like a turban winter squash, so you have to fix it like a winter squash, or the smaller ones you can eat like a summer squash. So it's kind of interchangeable, plus when they mature the seeds are very tasty too. So it really is a new exciting plant, and maybe we'll have better luck with it next year, but the insect problems we've got to deal with now and make sure sanitation is perfect going into the winter months.